My name is John Sandstrom. I'm the Acquisitions Librarian at New Mexico State University. And the book that I'm reading today is uh, The Last Temptation of Christ. The reason why I chose to read this book today is because I really hate this book. I find it very offensive on many levels, but when I was asked to censor it, I could not do that. And it's important for all of us to remember as librarians that freedom to read and not censoring our collections applies not only to the books that we like, but also to the books that we don't like. Prologue. The dual substance of Christ, the yearning so human, so superhuman, of man to attain to God, or more exactly, to return to God and identify himself with him, has always been a deep, inscrutable mystery to me. This nostalgia for God, at once so mysterious and so real, has opened in me large wounds and also large flowing springs. My principal anguish and the source of all my joys and sorrows from my youth onward has been the incessant, merciless battle between the spirit and the flesh. Within me are the dark, immemorial forces of the evil one, human and pre-human. Within me, too, are the luminous forces, human and pre-human, of God. And my soul is the arena where these two armies have clashed and met. The anguish has been intense. I loved my body and did not want it to perish. I loved my soul and did not want it to decay. I have fought to reconcile these two primordial forces which are so contrary to each other, to make them realize that they are not enemies, but rather fellow workers, so that they might rejoice in their harmony, and so that I might rejoice with them with them. The Last Temptation of Christ by Nikos, Greek name I can't pronounce. <laughs>